Okay, so here's one out of the textbook, section 3.3, similar to the question you asked about. Um, I know that it has multiplicity through 2 at 3, so at x equals 3, there's a 0. I know there's a 0 at 1, and there's also a 0 at negative 3. Now the degree is 5, so that tells me that the ending behavior is either going to be like that, or coming down, whoops, I, that's not right, I didn't draw that right, let's see, It'd be like that, and like that, what's, you know, the wiggles going on here, um, so, <clears throat> I know the vertical asymptote is supposed to be at x equals 9, or y equals 9, so, in order to make this happen, to me, let's see, this has a multiplicity 1, it's got a cross here, it's got a bounce because it's a multiplicity 2, come back up, bounce again because another multiplicity 2, and if it heads off in that direction, that confirms it looking like this, so that's how I'm going to try to pursue this. So I know that I have this for solutions, x equals 3, x equals 1, x equals negative 3. So to get my zeros, I'm just going to write the factors, so x plus 3, and that's a single power because it's a multiplicity 1. Then I'm going to write x minus 1 squared because it's multiplicity 2, and the same thing for the the 3 root, so x uh, minus 3 squared, and then if I replace x with 0, that's going to be 3 times 1 times 9, which is 27, not 9, so I know there's some factor here, okay, which has to be, this whole expression has to be equal to 9, so 9 equals a times 27 I just said so a has to equal 9 over 27 or 1 third so I'm thinking it's 1 third or f of x or y equals 1 third times x plus 3 times x minus 1 squared times x minus 3 squared so I'm looking at my uh, at the graph of the equation I just wrote, and I'm seeing the two zeros. I'm seeing multiplicities of two. I'm seeing a y-intercept of nine. I think I did it. And so I hope that helps you figure out how to write these.